A long history of exploitation has resulted in ongoing institutional prejudice. This is still evident today across many parts of our society. We see it in the homogeneity of our workplaces. But in the wake of a growing consciousness of social injustices, the clear lack of diversity and inclusion in organizations can no longer be ignored. Yes, greater diversity is a moral obligation. But what few realize is that it actually enhances productivity and creativity within organizations. And the empirical evidence to show that it's moving very swiftly from being overwhelming to indisputable. Academic research and industry reports published over the last decade tell a compelling story. Companies in a top quartile for ethnic and cultural diversity are 33% more likely to outperform companies in the bottom quartile. Companies in a top quartile for gender diversity are 21% more profitable than companies in the bottom quartile. Companies with greater diversity on their executive board have a 95% higher return on equity than those without. What's more, organizations with inclusive cultures are six times as likely to be innovative and agile, eight times as likely to achieve better business results, and twice as likely to meet or exceed financial targets. So why is diversity producing such unequivocal results? A diverse team sets off a virtuous cycle with many positive feedback loops. For instance, each person not only has various dimensions to them, such as cultural, ethnic, gender and age, but also their fields of knowledge and expertise. A more diverse team leads to even greater diversity of perspectives. The connection and fusion of these perspectives naturally generates new ideas, in turn facilitating a more enriched and creative corporate culture. More diversity also means greater understanding of and empathy with customers and stakeholders, and therefore higher employee motivation. All of this in turn leads to a better, more unique corporate reputation and a wider customer base. It also makes the organization more attractive to greater diversity of employees, making recruitment from new and exciting talent pools easier. And so the cycle goes. So how can you become a diversity fast mover? There are ways in which you can curate such diversity to ensure that you harness it for creative purposes and avoid the complications that might arise as a result. Firstly, learn more about your team. What are the multiple identities, passions, interests that comprise each individual within your team? Don't obsess with specialization. Prioritize the recruitment of people with diverse social, academic, cultural, and personality backgrounds. Quit the division of labor mentality. Foster interdepartmental communication and encourage unlikely collaborations. Encourage an ideas culture and invest in the new ideas that are proposed and that seem feasible. Be mindful of the diversity of your external stakeholders and ensure it's matched with the proportionate diversity internally to allow for sustainable dialogue during times of crisis and growth. Institutionalize the vision of diversity by ensuring that it's embedded into all processes, rituals, protocols in the organization thereby making it an authentic reality rather than just a box to tick. And finally, lead by example.